Happy Friday evening. I'm News for Jack's meteorologist Rebecca checking in on the latest with your forecast. Today was a little on the chilly side. We spent most of the day in the 60s under cloudy skies with decreasing winds and as we head into the overnight hours we turn decidedly chilly. Our temperatures will be dropping down into the low 50s with clearing skies. That leads us to the best day of the next seven on Saturday. We wake up a little chilly for my taste but then we warm up into the mild upper 70s under partly cloudy skies with lighter winds. So it'll be really nice on Saturday and Sunday doesn't start off shabby at all. We start off in the 50s and 60s and then we warm up into the mid 80s so a little warmer on Sunday. You'll notice some increases in clouds during the afternoon hours. We have a 30% chance for a sea breeze shower or two to fire up and we also have a slight chance for storms in southeastern Georgia closer to the Okefenokee Swamp. But the real stormy weather moves in late Sunday night into Monday and so a line of showers and thunderstorms ahead of a cold front has the potential to bring us some severe storms overnight Sunday night into the day on Monday. So the overnight storms would be in southeastern Georgia, particularly near Waycross and Valdosta during the overnight hours. By the time dawn rolls around, those storms could be pushing into southeastern Georgia and Lake City in northeastern Florida and Baker County those areas. That line is expected to push across our area. We have the potential for damaging wind gusts and isolated tornadoes. The timing's still a little unclear with the storms on Sunday night into Monday. That'll become more clear over the weekend and the Weather Authority's meteorologist Danielle Juliano will update you on the timing as well as what we can expect when we get a better idea. After we get past the storms on Monday, we actually have wetter days on Tuesday and Wednesday with slow moving areas of rain. Now we need the rain, it's gonna help with the pollen, but we could see some temporary minor flooding and some hard hit areas with the rain on Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday, the forecast starts to dry out a little bit and our temperatures are pleasant in the 70s. And so our lawns are rejoicing for all the rain headed our way, but we'll be keeping a close eye on Sunday night into Monday's weather and keeping you updated. For more information, you can read our detailed analysis on newsforjax.com. Have a great evening.